Everyone's asking where I got this crepe maker and of course I have an online addiction to Amazon and I got it there for $26. I've been so obsessed with this crepe maker that I've been making crepes every day. And this morning I whipped up strawberry crepes with chocolate, I know I need Nutella, and whipped cream. And this time I rolled them instead of folded them. Try it, you might like it. I've made dessert crepes, but now let's make savory crepes. Let's add chives to our batter. Salt, mix that all together. Slowly immerse your crepe maker in the batter and then gently lift up and let it cook for 20 seconds. With chopsticks or a spatula, pull the crepes away from the pan. I'm sticking to the breakfast theme and adding eggs and cheese for my crepes. Wrap it, plate it, and microwave for 30 seconds. Try it, you might like it. I've never air fried a pickle. Let's see what happens. First, slice your pickles and dry with a paper towel. Season flour with salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and cumin. And let's get our hands dirty. Flour, egg wash, flour again, and some more egg wash, and of course, our panko. A light spray of olive oil and air fry it eight minutes at 375. Try it, you might like it. Now listen to this crunch. The number one request this week was to make a crepe cake. To be honest, I almost didn't do it because it's so tedious. I mean, you're literally doing the same motion over and over and over and over again. Originally, I was planning on making my own whipped cream, but my arm was so tired and I was so sweaty from making all those crepes that I used store-bought. So the store-bought whipped cream did not set as thick as I wanted, and some of it kind of melted. In the end, I did not get the desired look I wanted, but it still tasted amazing. I will attempt this again and make it beautiful. So Panda Express released their secret orange chicken recipe. Let's make it! Chicken thighs and the fat I trimmed off. Cube your thighs and add paprika, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Avocado oil, cornstarch to make it crispy. Mix. Air fry at 375 for 15 minutes. Time for the sauce. Just kidding, I actually just bought the orange sauce. Let's toss this chicken into the sauce. Let's just mix that up. And that's Panda Express orange chicken. Serve with some rice. Do you want strawberry milk? Yeah. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Okay, outside. Whoa. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you got it? You got it? You got it? No, you don't got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Go share with Auntie. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. You're This is a rare moment. I'm making something unhealthy, but I think it's good for the soul. Let's make fettuccine alfredo. First, let's season our chicken thighs with lemon pepper and cook in olive oil. Toss in some mushrooms and a dab of butter. And wait for it, heavy cream. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and garlic powder to your taste and then toss in some fettuccine pasta. And sprinkle some Parmesan. Oops, not that much. Now that's much better. Let that pasta cook in the sauce until the sauce thickens. Try it. You might like it. Mm -hmm. I'm back with another pH water balance test, and this time we're doing Aquafina. Any color below seven is acidic, and anything above is alkaline. Before I do the Aquafina, let's do Essentia because it claims it has a nine and a half pH balance. That is definitely a nine or ten. Here's the Aquafina you guys requested. Here it goes. And Aquafina is acidic. Follow for my next.